What's going on? Danny Crew, it's Danny Drew here, and we are back for another day of Catan. All right, we are in the first position. Crazy board, 693 is looking pretty hot. 5910 looking good. 8510 looking good. The wheat's kind of a weird thing here, which it kind of makes me really like what's going on here. The 693 is pretty hot. Like the ore looks like only uh, there's going to be a few ore spots today, Junior. Dude, chill. Chill. This is a moment. It's a moment to enjoy the game. Don't be a dick. All right. Um, there, there. Might be the 9510, honestly. The sheep's also extremely rare here. Here. Might not be enough juice, though. The 9510's probably that or the 693. There, 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 there. Though, honestly, everyone's going to have a wheat problem. Let's try it. Let's try it. I have an idea here. I guess 8 3 is going to be open. 9 5 10. Screw it. All right. This is probably our best pick here in terms of flexibility. I really wanted to go for it. But you know what? I think the wheat's just good. I think the wheat's just good here. My gut went, went with it. Like, this was my first pick. Probably the most flexible. 6 9 3 is really good. But uh, we're going to have to give it to somebody else. The wheat's a problem, and uh, I guess it would make a little bit more sense for this player if they end up getting the port, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Also, we can go something like 9-10-2 maybe, up to 5-2 or over to the 6-2. So there's the way I'm looking at it, there's a few different opportunities for us to get onto this ore anyways. But I think his hand's just going to get super clunky if he's not careful here. 8-4-10 is interesting. The question is, what do you get on the on the way back that you're happy with? Like, 3, 10, 11, maybe? But I'm happy with 3, 10, 11 ourselves. Like, we get uh, the 3, 10, 11 to 6, 3 is really good. We increase our weight. We pick up a little bit of ore. Uh, and getting the 6, 3 is quite nice. But this, this to me, kind of gives us a little bit more to work with here. Like, we're guaranteed a game of some sort. But yeah, if you like the wheat in this situation... Actually, red has to be very careful because there's a nasty setup here, uh, which is the 6 5 11 8 4 10. But do you see this setup here? It's really, really good. Yeah, probably one to two players max with good sheep production. That's another thing, too. The sheep's kind of weird. So, like, okay, if we get 6 11 12, that's, that's all good. But it feels like we're going to have a very awkward game there. Like, maybe 6 3 down or 6 3 left could be an idea. Yeah, we're going to reset. We had a frustrating last game. It happens. Happens to the best of us. But I think we've got a good good game here. Also, one thing I really liked with the 9-5-10, the ports are pretty good in the sense that we have a 3-1, which I think there's a decent shot to get it. And then the brick port could play really well if, for instance, we get like the 9-10-2 up to 5-2. Um, all this brick just becomes fodder when we head to the brick port. So... I kind of felt like if we ever get the 9102, which we might not. I actually think here the 6511 is really good or the 8410. Bro. Given given the world given the world to fourth here. Oh, what does he take here? So then he gets like the 9411 points up, which is pretty good. Um, and then we've got an interesting decision. Maybe nine. Okay, so six five eleven eight ten four. This guy takes the nine four eleven up. He takes like the eight four three. Maybe left even is an idea. And then we have a very interesting situation of do we take nine ten two, and point up or point left? Yeah, fourth has the best here. Oh my goodness. What the hell is this? So, this is an interesting note for you at home, okay? This guy complains about us not taking, like, taking too much time. And then when he's given the best sub in the world, he takes a minute and then comes up with 843. Bruh, I think you're the best Katan player ever. I don't know about that, but there's a lot of great players out there. I think, you know, the thing is my game and players that know me or have known me for a while, people know my game is like 
it's been really developed in the the Discord scene. So when you start factoring things like voice chat, communicating, making deals, that's where my game becomes like a more enjoyable for me, but I think way more effective overall. Like I I enjoy playing these games, but I think the quality of play can be very hit or miss sometimes. I think you're going to see a lot more of the Discord games. We get 3, 10, 11, right, huh? Oh, I really don't like this pick. I mean, it's not bad, but I think he's taken a less good version of what he could have had. Well, now red. Yeah, we saw this. What the hell is this board? So this is this is what I thought. I was like, you know what? We're going to get the 9 10 2. I mean, this is what I predicted. So I think I kind of have to like own my words here. Is there ever a case, guys? How about 3 10 11 right? And we trade an ore for wood and plow to the 9 10 2. Is that ever a thing? No, we're, no, no. We're going to go right for sure. Orange has to see how strong red is here. Damn it, guys. Well, I guess... Brother, why? Why the hell, man? You leave it to the last second. You, you, had, you had a minute <laughs> to answer. Um, let's go to 6-2 here. All right, so he gets a city. Yeah, it's a city. Bro. Don't. Man. Okay, well, at least it should be the four here. Kills wheat. Kill the wheat, man. There we go. There we go. Uh, at least we didn't lose the sheep. That's kind of a big thing here. Um, because if I point left and I have to race this guy as well, I don't want to deal with it. It's not worth it for us here. Oh, you're talking about to the 5-2? Sucks we lost that brick. But in theory, we should be able to get... So my plan here, guys, just so you understand... Um, I'm going to build around the right side of the board. So I got road settle, road settle, 6-2, 5-2, and then this was where my road network should be. So we're essentially playing like a build to 10 situation. I don't get, I don't get why. There we go. There we go. Probably should go to the 3-1 first here, I'm thinking. Getting this 10 cooking is probably really good for us here. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we need a 10, folks. So here's what should happen. 10. Roll another 10. Drop a city. All right. Oh, man. Oh, oh, my goodness. We actually have a really good under the radar setup. Like I really like it. Imagine if we got this deal. No, no, no. Okay, 10 for the win. Um and luckily we don't have no the 10 puts us over it puts us to eight cards by the way i've played this guy before i remember him being very actually he was probably in that game actually he was he was he was in the game with um oh my god who was it with somebody in the channel we were just here earlier he was in our game this is fine this is fine the pacing wise, Orange is he's building like a monster, and we just for us, 
We just have to play patiently here. Hopefully we can roll a 10. Um, if we can roll the five or the six, we can go to six, two here. Oh, damn. That's great. That's so good. That's so good. Tens are so good. The problem is though, we, we still need to figure out the, like something like the six, two would really help here. Actually, again, we're going to play, I think, a really interesting build a 10 situation. Also, maybe road, but we've got a lot of fast points here. Damn. Also, we got to figure out where do we want to build our road sitch here? Come on, another 10. Devil City would be. We'll end up pacing like a beast, though, is the problem. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking, what do we port for? We got to really play, pray that orange doesn't get an early, early settle here because it feels very strong. How sick would a 10 be? And then there's this brick. Just feeding him. Feed, feed, feed. So 10 is really our biggest roll here. I think if we roll the 10, we settle 6-2. Oh, it's settle city. Oof. That's six points right there on a 10 roll. Okay, Ryan is the queue here. Come on, 10. That ain't a 10, brother. So probably best here is if we port for a sheep. We're always going to need... Oh! Oh, sh... Damn it. God damn it. Um... Is this ever a thing, a chicken wing? Maybe. Well, we just completely changed our, our gears here. Now a 10's going to roll. Okay, all right. So what? Life's good. We've, we've made a change of plans. <laughs> if I win, it was all part of the plan. That's not a sheep, Dandy. Dude, it's, this guy's getting some trades here. Though, also, he's getting some trades, too. Oh, I hate that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, the question is, where do we go next? We've also got to be thinking about our road network here. I'm thinking about, potentially, if we can, we could go to 6, 11, 12 and play that game. Maybe the Brickport's overrated here. When it's all said and done. Yeah, and he's not even going for it, is he? So we should get a wood here. We just have to hit our boy. So we're going to build out the 6, 11, 12 at this point, actually. We got so much ore, it doesn't even matter. So, so this is a really good note when you're playing a road game, which I've, I think we are. <laughs> I believe we are. You usually want to find s space. I think it makes a lot of sense for us to drop a road this way, and then we can start the road road. Take this here. That's settle for six, road for eight. But then we just have the entire left side of the board, and then we have all the ore here. And, of course, tens our money roll. Six, 11, 12 Six eleven twelve is the play. Agreed. Agreed. Roadmaster. Mm. Is it me though? Whew. The Devil City boy is the target here. This is kind of perfect if they start uh buying devs and blocking him. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh yes, yes. Yes, sheep is rare. We take rare sheep. I know, I know this kind of feels a little awkward, but frankly, sheep's, sheep's good for us one for one like this. We can also pass here. Now let's just pass. We're going for road, right? He got greedy. Yeah. He's been trading very strangely to me. All of that for a settle?
We take road like a boss. Losing a 10 sucks, though. The worst block we could a possibly ask for here. Two. Come on, two. Okay, five is the settle on the sheet. Okay, um, need ore. All right here, I think we can, we can buy a sheep here, right? Dude, that's the worst. It's the worst block. That's six wheat. Yeah, I think we just had a port for a sheep there and settles for eight. And then all the, like, at this point, now we're just going all in on roads. Problem is, though, this guy's also kind of a road batch, too. Also, the wood port's not bad here. Thank God. Thank God. I actually think it's orange here. Like, it's hard to say. Good call, man. Good call. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. 10 would be sick here. Come on, 10. Settle city for nine? Don't road build on me, brother. <sighs> Sucks so bad. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building out potentially to like the wood port. Uh, we could even go to the eight here, but I think he's got a road builder. Whoa, whoa, why would he do that? Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, if I can roll the nine here, then I'm going to run to the wood port, most likely. Uh, just start to build that network. Oh my god, what is this? Nice block. We need a ten, don't we? Think Honestly, I think losing... All that wheat on the 10 rolling twice was really detrimental to us. Nine would be nice. Like, I'm concerned, like, red's in a very strong spot. But I guess every time the, the 10 rolls, we're in a really good spot, too. I agree. I agree. Nah, it, not as much, though, as soon as we drop the two rows here, right? And also the fact to use a road builder makes me think that we can probably run to the eight. Okay, what the hell's that? Night. Okay, perfect. Maybe we can fight army here. I think it's the eight here. The eight's a monster roll. The eleven's a big roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this now. Well, not if the four's rolling. That sucks. Uh, I can't give it to you, brother. Like, imagine if the six rolls twice and then we get it like a 10 or something. 110. Ooh, boy. It's not good. It's not good. Who's got wheat? Bro, that's a horrible deal. Horrible deal. It's also a horrible deal. Actually, we can take road here. I think we're okay with us taking road, right? Probably go to the eight, honestly. 
Hell no. Why do you want the ore? <laughs> Use it. You got a sheep port. Sheep port. We need a seven here. Holy balls. You can still win. I also wanted to get ahead of this so that I don't want to give any... Oh, we got army pacing now. That's incredible. We almost have a wheat steal on him. I'm locked in here, Dandy Crew. All right. All right, you... you uh, we can take road here. We can take road in a good way here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to go to eight. So we need to drop two roads here. And then maybe we're going to steal a wheat. I think that's going to be the play here. Okay, that's fine too. He's got two. He's got one wheat in his hand. One wheat, two ore, and sheep or something like that. No, no, because he would pop for sure, right? Okay, well, there's one. We need a 10 here. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. The question is, do we try to steal the wood here? All that's good though, right? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pop for the... Uh... Nice, nice, okay. All right, folks, get your engines ready. Okay, so we got winning rolls here this turn. Does he put it on the eight here or the five maybe? The five makes a lot of sense. So essentially we have to take road. Wow, that doesn't make any sense. So what wins here? We need a nine. We need some cards for sure. <laughs> need to take row back for sure. Actually, that trade, even though it gave him the extension, put us in a really good spot, I think. Okay, so we, we're building a window now, which is not great. Uh, as in, like, we only have a small period of time. But it's a pretty good window here. Like, now if a five rolls. Okay, five, five is winning. Five is winning because we steal the brick. Oh, that's not winning. Five is also winning because we can steal the sheep or the brick. Okay, damn, damn. Ten's also winning. That's sick. That's sick. Okay, five wins, 10 wins. All right, Chatteroo. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go. Uh, so I should... Let's see here, right? I'm not crazy. I mean, I'm crazy. I think we steal the sheep, we're good. We steal the brick, we're good. We steal the... Everything wins. Everything wins. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness. Damn. Good gaslight. That was a tough call. Yeah. I think the thing is he had to know my hand there. 
I don't know if he was focusing on it. Clearly, I was mad, made the wrong call. GG. I needed the roll, though. Um, but yeah, that's just one. It was a weird situation where you look at everything in his hand, and it's like the ore is good, the wheat's good. No, the wheat would be the only thing, but he doesn't have wheat, so that doesn't exist. So every card is a guaranteed win there. I almost went 693, which, you know, the lore says I got to pick 693. But I think the 5910 just offered me a little bit more flexibility on the way back. And imagine if we got the 31011 point right to 9102. That would be pretty good. We had a lot of ore that game. Let's go look at the rolls. I felt like the nine was disgusting. Yeah, look at this. Uh, we rolled, funny enough, we actually didn't even roll the most. If you look at the situation here, uh, we rolled 64 cards, 66, 70, and then poor Canadian man at 40. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. There you go. Yeah, interesting. Um, I think a few things. Uh, one of the most biggest, like one of the biggest tools that you can have in, when playing ranked games is utilizing the double play. So in this situation, I, th I think road was always a threat for me, just given my wood and brick combo and also space, right? We made that conscious decision to point left here to try to get to the 6, 11, 12, which actually ended up leading into us getting army because we ended up getting the sheep. What also gave us the win was when he gave us the sheep for ore trade, we were able to port our brick and get the pop. One percent, man, it all added up. But I think this was the right call. I think going to the 6-2, kind of shifting a little bit, worked out pretty well for us.